Okay, in this video, I want to talk about how we connect to a PLC and find a fault when the PLC faults out. So if you were out in the factory and operator called and said the machine stopped working and you go and oh, you open up the PLC cabinet, it's faulting. All right, how we go through the steps of identifying and hooking up to that PLC and finding the fault. So when I push this button here, this PLC will fault out. And then we will walk through the steps of what we do in RS Logix 500 to hook back up to it. So this is the MicroLogix 1400. When I hit this button, the PLC will fault out. You can see right here that the PLC is now faulted out. It has shut on all outputs and nothing will operate. Okay? So now I'm going to go to RS Logix 500 and I'm going to walk you through how we fix that. Okay, so you've discovered that a PLC is faulted out. So Let's say this one is already hooked up to the Ethernet, like the one that we have here, the 1100. So the first thing we want to do is go to our RS Logix and open up the network here to identify if this is on there. Okay? And so this is the uh, 192.168.111. Okay? That's its IP address. And it's here. Okay? So it's on there. If it wasn't, you may have to go back and create a network so you can go out and search for that PLC. I have other videos on that that I'll link at the bottom. Okay? So now that we know that here, it's time for us to open up RS Logix 500. Now, let's say no one's hooked up to this PLC for a couple of years. It's on a machine that's been running totally by itself. So it's going to be hard for us to know where that program is. Let's say you just have no idea it's the night shift and you're not 100% sure where the program is. So we're going to go upload the program and find the fault. So to do this, we're going to create, um, we're going to go to comms, who active to go online. Now this can take a second. It has to go up and pull up RS, logic, RS links in the background. So we're, so we're going to go to the and look for the IP address that's right here and again if you don't know how to create this network I do have other videos on that okay so this is the one that is faulted out so we're gonna click here and we're gonna hit OK this immediately pulls up the program on that PLC and this would be a pretty similar process if this was an RS-232 connection or if you had to hook an Ethernet cord into it and run it through a switch and hook it up to a laptop so now you can see here on the screen a very simple program that I created to create a fault but I still don't know I may or may not know what the fault is it may not be obvious right here so right now it says faulted so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go to go to air I could clear the fault and sometimes that will take care of the problem but we're gonna go ahead and go go to air this will bring up your S2 data table file, which is actually located right here in your data table files. In here, you see the tab that says errors. This will actually sometimes, most of the time, give you the error description. So, a minor error bit is set at the end of the scan. Refer to S5 minor error bit. All right, so we'll look over right here, S5. There's a 1 right here that one indicates that we have a math overflow trap meaning that we counted too high um, what you can see here is the highest you can count in RS Logix 500 is 32,767 this is because it's a 16-bit word and since there's negatives in here if you go past this value it will fault the PLC out in this case to create the fault I just took 32,000 multiplied it by 4 which is well over that that faulted this out. So I can come here, I'm going to set clear ma ma major error. I'm going to close this out. I'm in remote program. If I come over to here, I can now go back into run mode and I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay, and you can see on my PLC that fault is gone. Now the problem here is if I come and activate this again, it will create a fault. I didn't solve the problem. So if this is just some one weird time occurrence that will never happen again, our steps are good. If not, I have to go in and fix the problem. So I'll come here, clear fault, hit yes. 
I'm going to remove my force. And let's say instead of hitting 32,000, I meant to put in 32, I meant to put in 3,200. So I'll click here, change this to 3,200, verify rung, accept rung edits. I can go back online or go back into run mode. I'm ready to rock and roll. I come here, if I were to force this bit on or to actually go and push the button again, notice I did not fault out again. So I figured out what the problem was. I found the fault using my data file, my S2 data file. I cleared it. I fixed my programming error. I'm ready to rock and roll. So this is how you connect. This is one of the ways you connect to a PLC that is faulted out. I hope this helped. And again, if you need uh, a big portion of this is connecting to the PLC via some network. I have videos, I have another video on that which I've linked below. If this video helped you, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.